Hello, this is Billy Core from Carolina Circle City. Uh, again, it's January the 12th of 2011. And um, we're here again with the Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme. Since the 3550 over there bit the dust, I'm now having to use my old trusty 1510 Supreme as my main Packard Bell again. And with that said, I've been doing a little bit of... Um, messing around with it this evening and um, and I figured out a way to play CD audio music on the um, under MS DOS now I already have a CD uh, an audio CD in the drive right now but I'll go ahead and eject it just to prove it that is a burnt CDR that I just made on my laptop over here and we're gonna play it in MS DOS so as you can see, this is Windows 95A, which um, which is based off of a MS DOS 7. Point, who gives a darn? So uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and reboot into DOS. And this is I forget the name of this program. I just found it on the internet a while ago. Uh, okay, let me. Uh, Try this here. Change directory C colon slash. Uh, I think it's CDP. And there we go. And it's just simply CD player. It's a little freeware program I found on the internet a while ago. I've been messing around with. <laughs> and here we go. You can see the interface is based off of the. CD player program that's seen on all Windows 9X flavors of Windows. And we'll go ahead and try it out. Now, there's only one track on this CD, but this is one that Chris Master One, aka Chris Rogers, ought to know by heart. It's one of his favorites and one of mine. It's um, not really a, an official song, but here we go. This is Cousin Brucey's theme from the 1960s from WABC Radio 77, an old Top 40 AM station that they used to have in New York City. And Chris Rogers is a big fan of it. He's probably laughing right now if he's watching it. <laughs> That's enough of that, so we'll go ahead and exit the program, and we'll go back into doll, um, Windows, that is, and I'm running dangerously low on memory card space on this camera, so we'll have to hurry things along here. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Because I have something kind kind of unique to show. Uh, we are going to do the unthinkable. I have with me my iPod that I got for Christmas this past year. Yes, I actually do own an Apple iPod now. It's a classic 160 gigabyte. Um, now, what I mean by the unthinkable is, see this cord here? This cord is connected straight into the line in input 
on this Packard Bell. We are going to listen to this iPod on my Packard Bell. So we're going to go to music here. Go to albums. Uh, I want to do a song that won't get me in trouble with the YouTube copyright police. So we'll uh, go up to uh, uh, we'll just do a TV theme. With my all-time favorite. <laughs> That's coming out of the Packard Bell. <laughs> you can tell I'm really bored tonight. <laughs> so I'm playing an iPod. I'm playing my iPod on my Packard Bell. <laughs> okay, the counter on my camera is telling me to shut things down now. So for now, this is Billy Core signing off on. January 12, 2011. Goodbye.